waiting for the water oh to cut off oh hey there it is it's cut off and I sound a little weird because I've had a cold for the last five days but I'm feeling on the mend but what is exciting is today is Sunday and my best friend is flying in from cold Minneapolis so we are actually gonna take a girls trip to Wilmington tomorrow we have an Airbnb we're gonna be on the beach we're gonna go to the aquarium some of the botanical gardens of course we are gonna do some shopping so I am going to pick her up from the airport now um, she had a two-hour delay in Minneapolis so she was supposed to be here at five um, and she didn't quite make it but luckily she got on an earlier flight she originally was gonna come in at nine so she'll be here at like seven, which is great. So I'm gonna pick her up and then in the morning I have a little bit of work to do, but then at 1 p.m. we are headed on the two hour journey to Wilmington, North Carolina. This is gonna be part of my mini travel series, which I'm gonna be doing 24, 48, and 72 hour, I don't know why I said it, like 72, 72 hour trips. Um, you know around this area or whether it's on a plane but it's gonna be like quick weekend trips that everyone can do and I'm gonna vlog about it as I'm going on so this will be the second um, episode or part to the series and this will be more of a 72 hour trip because we will be spending two nights in Wilmington in this gorgeous Airbnb so I am pretty much late to the airport I'm gonna go pick her up we're gonna get some food and then the start of girls weekend begins and we are so excited so stay tuned <laughs> We headed to Wilmington and it was surprisingly foggy, but we could still make out all the beauty this town has to offer. This was the gorgeous Airbnb we stayed in. We booked our trip super last minute, so we were really grateful that this place was still available. It was a renovated cottage on the second floor and had a ton of wood detailing. It was so cute and charming. It had a one bedroom with a farm door, a living room, and a small bathroom. It was perfect. And the best part is it's only 10 minutes from the beach and some amazing dining. We ended up stopping at this amazing wine store. It was right next to our dinner reservation and we had to go in and look around. We ended up picking up a bottle of rosé but you could go there and try by the ounce or by the glass. It was such a cool store with so many great selections. This was our first full day in Wilmington. We stopped to get bagels and then off to the aquarium. Every time I drive to Raleigh, I'd see the sign for the NZ Aquarium, so I was so excited to make this stop. It was so cute when we pulled up, and because it was during a weekday, almost nobody was here and we had the place to ourselves. They had so many amazing species of fish here. There was something to see everywhere you look. They had everything from freshwater fish to saltwater fish and even crocodiles. I was surprised how close I actually got to get to this crocodile. I could see all of the texture on his skin and it's like he didn't even care that I was there. They had this great area where you could get up and close with all the sea life. You could pet anything from a stingray to a horseshoe crab to even a sea anemone, which I have never touched before. It was super cool and educational to learn about these creatures. This was for sure the crown jewel of the entire place. This massive floor to ceiling aquarium with sharks and massive fish. This aquarium is a must-see and don't forget to stop outside and look at all the tropical gardens.
Out back you'll find luscious gardens, turtles, frogs, and even spiders on a warm day. Luckily there weren't any there because I would be terrified. This was so interesting to stumble upon. It was a chart showing how much water would come in per hurricane category level. Knowing a hurricane hit back in Wilmington in September, you can see how high the water levels were here. And most of Wilmington has been repaired, but you could still see damage along the shores and the homes here. kept admiring all these kind of spooky trees over to the left side of the screen. Little did we know they were actually little caves that you could walk into. It was almost like a little world once you got inside. You could fully stand up and it was so unique. I've never seen anything like it. We wanted to check out the boardwalks on North Carolina Beach. We also got a tip if you drive to the end of the island, it's a really great spot to watch a sunset. The lady at the aquarium was so nice to give us this little local secret. We headed to the beach down the boardwalk. A local tip was that in the off season, parking is free and almost nobody is here. It's kind of nice, but also a lot of the shops along the beaches are closed, but you can definitely still find coffee shops and restaurants that are open. Next stop, Wilmington Beach. We wanted to compare this to how different it was from Carolina Beach. This lobster stamp allows you all day access to this privately owned pier. It's a great place to watch the surfers, go fishing, and even have a beer. That's right, you could buy alcohol here, which you can actually not do on the beach, which was a great insider tip that we found out. This is a must do in Wilmington for a simple $2. It allows you access. You can travel out so deep into the ocean and you may even spot a dolphin. Next stop was dinner. We headed to this little French restaurant. It is for sure a must try. They had everything from oysters to pain fruit to the most amazing wine selection. On our last day, we headed back to the beach one last time. We are lucky enough to see a bunch of amazing surfers and dolphins. Thank you guys so much for watching the 72 hour trip to Wilmington. I will link the Airbnb and restaurants we ate at below in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.